you've been actually using viruses to try to figure out ways of curing cancer. Can you tell us about how you get into that and how it's coming? Yeah, so I'll tell you uh, how that concept has generally come about. Uh, there's an appreciation that what can cause cancer can also cure cancer. Mm -hmm. And an example of this would be radiation. It can cause cancer if you get exposed to it. We use radiation to treat cancer. And yes, that does seem kind of mysterious, actually. Yes. And you can apply the same to chemicals, what we call chemotherapy these days. Chemicals like nitrates can cause cancer, and we use chemicals to cure cancer. Huh. So uh, along those same lines, as we were discussing, viruses can cause cancer. And in fact, they are involved in causing about 10% of cancers. So the notion was extended, could we use viruses, not the same ones, but maybe other ones, as cancer therapies, maybe one day to eventually cure cancer. So having the virus to actually kill the cancer cell or some other mechanism? The first way to approach it would be to say, can you kill the cancer cell directly? What we would call direct lysis or destruction of the cell. Right. Is that worked out? It hasn't led to cures, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. However, uh, we have made strides where uh, from saying that this was a concept, we now have at least one FDA-approved therapy, which is a herpes virus, which is used to treat melanoma. Huh. So explain how that works a little bit, if you could. Yes. So viruses, uh, for a number of reasons, which are still being worked out, uh, can infect and kill cancer cells more selectively than affecting normal cells the same way. Um, do you have to teach the virus to do that, or do they come ready-made to attack cancer cells? They can do this a little bit on their own. However, as we uh, make more advances in the field, maybe we can re-engineer the viruses, as you were saying, teach them to do this better. And that's what your research is focusing on? That's what we're trying to focus Explain on. Explain how that works, please. So with the advances that have been made in molecular biology and genetic engineering, uh, we can take a naturally occurring virus and modify it so that it is no longer uh, pathogenic or able to cause an illness, and at the same time uh, more targeted or more specific to affect only a cancer cell and not a normal cell. That sounds like kind of miraculous. How do you do it? Uh, we use s standard techniques that have been worked out uh, uh, over the last several decades and decide what elements of the virus um, are bad and what elements that we could put in that are new to the virus that would be good. So somehow the virus has to selectively attack cancer cells though, or at least bring some substance into the cancer cell that attacks the cancer cell. Um, how does it know which cells are cancer cells? Uh, we know from our uh, studies from precision medicine, for example, uh, what are some of the differences now between normal cells and cancer cells? And it may just be a slight difference, but as soon as we know that, we try to exploit it. Um, these could be things that are on the surface of the cells so that the virus only gains entry to a cancer cell versus a normal cell. So it kind of recognizes something exactly. something on specific. Something on the top, right? Uh -huh. Or it could be something inside the cancer cell where the virus will only get turned on once it sees uh -huh. uh, something inside, uh, even if it got into every cell. So we can restrict the, the growth or replication, even if it may infect all cells. Lovely, so these mutations that are fairly specific to cancer cells are what you're looking for in terms of targets. Correct.